Hey everyone, it's Angela with ROA Offroad, and I'm here with my friend Jeff, who is also with ROA Offroad. He is a roamer, <laughs> and we are in the beautiful location of Moab on our Moab adventure. In fact, we're in our campground right now, and Jeff here has a roamer one that he brought with him on this roamer adventure. Yep. Okay, so Jeff, tell me what you like about the roamer one. We traded in a different trailer for this one. The other one had solar, did not have lithium batteries. And we have been here since Sunday, today's Thursday. <laughs> and my batteries have never gotten below 85%. And, That's um, amazing. <laughs> yep, and today, yesterday and today, we have left the air conditioner on when we went out and we, we left with 85%, left the air conditioner on, and now we're at 95%. And that the, is, is outrageous, that it is amazing. <laughs> we have charged, I think the most I've been charging here is we're charging another trailer that's next to us so they didn't uh -huh. have to use their generator. We plugged into the back of the trailer, ran the air conditioner. For them. For the, or, and for us. And for you. And we have charged up an e-bike in the back as well oh, too. Oh, that's right, because you took the e-bikes right. out and yep. you rode, and Steph. Rode the e-bikes, came back and charged them up in the back. And then inside, we had some lights going when we got back. We also plugged in a little lithium Togo off-grid type of a battery, portable one, and let that thing charge. It was almost empty and we charged that up and we just kept getting positive. As long as the sun was out, we were positive. Only until the sun went down did we start to, uh -huh, to drop. starting to pull from and, and again, we ran, last night I ran the max air fan. It was cool enough not to run the air conditioner. We ran the max air fan and another little portable fan through the inverter system with the portable fan and the trailer still going on next door. And that's when it got to only 85%. So. I think we're all lining up so that we can plug into Jeff's <laughs> uh, camper here so that we can all stay charged. <laughs> what about your water? So water, 60 <laughs> gallons. We filled up before we got here and um, I brought extra water jugs because I was used to my other trailer. It had only 30 gallons. And uh, we went down to between a third and two thirds on the tank. So I used the power fill Okay. Filled up the tanks to two thirds. Still had extra water uh -huh. that I'm still storing here that I'm going to have to do something with. And then what we did is our gray tank, since we don't have a black tank. Right. We just have the the toilet that uses the little kind of like a diaper genie. Right. Yeah. And so we used that, and so we had the gray tank, and I dumped it in so I didn't have to move the trailer. I just decided to empty it. I emptied them down to the gray tank down to zero, power filled the water in, emptied the gray tank down to zero, put that into a pit toilet, and it's like we just got here on Sunday with <laughs> full water tanks and empty gray tank. That's great. Yep. <laughs> so I know. That is really nice. And it uses the macerator. It doesn't use the big hose. It uses the macerator, so you've got a regular size hose. Can just put it in, oh. and you can run the hose as long as you want. If you, When we leave here, we're going to pull up to one of these pit toilets run the gray, gray water, uh, gray, dump that out, and we'll have zero water so when we're leaving, we don't have to stop somewhere and dump. We used to have to do that all the time. We would plan our off-grid trips, then we would plan a, a <laughs> night to stay in an RV park to dump all the tanks. We don't have to do that anymore. Well, that's so nice. Very good. That makes it so much easier when you are traveling and you have to come and go and all that. Okay, so let me ask you, since we're on a Roamer adventure, what have you enjoyed about the Roamer adventure? Not just being with the roamers is one thing. We've had some great nights around the campfire and then heading out and taking the razors out. That was fun. It was fun. And we went to Fins and Things mm. and what's the other Hell's one? Hell's Revenge. Hell's Revenge. And that was an amazing time. We had a blast <laughs> doing did. that. It was great. And then today we went out to Chicken Corners. Chicken Corners. I took a razor out there then and, uh, and it was nice. It was a blast. And seeing the wind caves at the end, I thought that was really yeah. cool. Yep. In fact, we found a geocache out there and we put a little note in it. <laughs> so that was really fun. In fact, if any of you find that geocache out there at the wind caves at the end of Chicken Corners and you can take a picture of it and hashtag us ROAoffroad.com, the first one that does it will send you an ROA Offroad shirt.
I'll be there. Is that right? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Chad. Thanks, Angela. We really appreciate having you as a roamer. You and your wife, Steph, are just wonderful. You're good friends, and we feel like you're a part of our family. I feel like part of the family. Everybody at ROA is great and amazing. We wouldn't buy a trailer from anyone else. We didn't. We weren't able to make some of the other adventures that you have. We did go to the, the rally in 2021, and we're going to be at the rally this year. That's right. We are going to have a rally in September, and we'd love to invite all of our roamers out to that. It's really a way where we can get together and get to know one another. And then we build relationships there. And then I know a lot of people from the Roma Rally that have made planned trips to go off and do things together. So that's really nice too. Yep, yeah, we made quite a few friends last time. We haven't been able to get up with anybody just from our location and where we're at. Um, and where are you from? I didn't ask you. So that. we spend most of our time in Huntington Beach, California. And then we also have a place where the trailer stays in Henderson, Nevada. Okay. Oh, we're going to have to do a video with how hot it gets down there in Henderson and right. how this does. Yeah, I think it would be ideal to have them come out and take the trailer out to Death Valley. It's not far from us. Take the trailer out to <laughs> Death Valley when it's over 100 degrees. And See how check it, it handles. Yep. That would be great. Well, everyone, we're signing off. We sure hope that you'll join us on a Roma adventure because they are the best. And you get to meet wonderful people like Jeff and his wife, oh, thank Steph. Thank you. <laughs> All right, we're signing off. Take care, everyone, and keep on roaming.